Alright, today I'm going to be going over the program Phase Shift, which is a markerless motion capture program. I went to Best Buy and picked up an Xbox 360 Connect sensor, and I hooked up to my PC, installed some drivers, and it's working just fine with the program. So that was about $70, so that's not too bad. Um, so after I played the program for a little bit, I decided that I wanted to retarget this motion capture data to my custom rigs. So I started writing a script to help me do that. So first thing that the script does is sets up some uh, sliders. And each one of these sliders is just treated kind of like a blend shape. But it's connected to my rig using the joint CTR functionality of Rig Helper. So it's like having blend shapes without having to set up blend shapes, if that makes sense. It's just using the rig. So after I have that all set up, I'm ready to capture some data from face shift. Let's open up the program here. So first thing that you do is train the program, and you basically just scan your face for each one of these shapes. And you can kind of see what's going on here. It's collecting two types of input. We have depth information on the bottom right here and we also have some texture information up here. So after you train the program, you can go to tracking and set up some options here. I'm only going to be using a minimal amount of shapes because I only have a minimal amount of sliders set up here. So I don't need to capture all of that data. And there's a bunch of other stuff that you can play around in here. Uh, there's filtering. I just turned the filtering off though because I'd rather get the raw data and then clean it up in Maya. So you know that there is a little bit of jitter in the capture data. But that's okay, we can always clean that up in the graph editor. And if I want to get better results, I could pick up an ASUS XDN Pro Live, which is basically just a better version of the Kinect. So if this goes well, I'll probably have to pick up one of those and buy the program as well. So I'm just recording a take right now. You can see that the program tracks your head movement, all your facial movement, and also your eye movement. The only thing it doesn't really do is capture your tongue movement, which is understandable because the program uses uh, depth information and it can't really detect what's going on inside your mouth, so that's just one little downside. So after you've got this take ready to go, you can either refine it within the program, retract it, or you can just export it as is. So I'm just going to export it as is. Um, like I said, I'll clean up any jitter within Maya. So after I have that data exported, I'll import it into Maya here. And now we just have a floating head that is talking. Which is cool, but it'd be even cooler if we could assign this data to a custom rig. So that's what I've been doing with this program here. Uh, it has namespace control in case you're working with a reference character and you can specify the frame range as well. So let's go ahead and see how many frames we got. Got around 320. So I'll enter in 320 here and retarget. And you can see the script working its magic. And I apologize if the music in the background is being picked up. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of all this FBX data and see what we got going on here. So I think the mouth looks pretty good. It doesn't have too much jitter. But that left eyelid is freaking out. The brows look okay. 
Actually, there's not a lot of problem with me at all, but that's okay. So let's try clean up the eyelids the best way we can. So what I like to do is just simplify my curves. You can see there's a lot of erratic stuff going on here. And we can even just delete some keys too. Uh, here we got blanks on these uh, very extreme keys. And here we just have random movement. So I'm just going to simplify these curves. Uh, I'll probably do a value tolerance of 0.5. Okay, so that got rid of a lot of keys, which is nice, but we still have these erratic movements. So we can just delete a lot of these keys. Get rid of all that jitter. some of this stuff over here. And then I'll probably set this to flat tangents. And then I'm gonna line up these two so it looks a little bit more natural I guess. So the eyelids kinda move together. So that was just a little bit of cleanup, and I would probably do that for all the sliders, but already you can see that there's a lot less jitter going on in the eyelids. And with about 5 minutes of work, we have 320 frames of animation. They actually look pretty good. So doing this by keyframing would probably take a few hours, so you can't really beat that. So Fish Shift is a really cool program. Um, hopefully I will be able to implement into my workflow ASAP. So I'll have to buy a copy. And once I'm done with this script, I will implement it into Rig Helper. Or maybe I'll upload it as its own little entity. I don't know yet. But when the script's done, I will release it to the public. And hopefully other people will be able to utilize it and incorporate phase shift into their workflow. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.